Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Slay the Spire Downfall. We are going in here with the Hexa Ghost. An accursed spirit of the spire sealed to an eternal fate as a protector. Spirit brand. The first time you ignite a ghost flame each turn, gain five block. Obviously, I have no idea what that means yet. So let's go in and figure it out. Slay intruders. At least confront the first intruder. Okay, okay, yeah, gotcha. Granted. All right, let's check out our deck. Strike. I like the art on that one quite a bit. Defend, of course. Strike, defend. Seer. Ethereal. Afterlife. Apply 10 soul burn. Okay, we got one word that I understand. Ethereal means if it's in our hand at the end of the turn, it gets exhausted. Uh, afterlife. If it is exhausted. Oh, if it's exhausted, the effects activate. Interesting. I bet you we. I bet you that's gonna be a, one of the core mechanics. It's gotta be. Uh, draw a card. Advance. Oh, I didn't see what Soulburn was. Uh, move to the move to the next Ghost Flame. Moving on to a Ghost Flame extinguishes it. I uh, we're just gonna have to get into a combat. I bet. After three turns, a soul burn enemy loses HP, removing the soul burn effect. I'm assuming one soul burn is one damage. So after three turns, they take 10 damage. Uh, it's pretty good, I guess. I mean, the fact that we can get it via exhausting the card instead is actually really good. Fast forward, ignite the current ghost flame advance. Exhaust. All right, let's just get into a car. Let's not bother trying to figure that <laughs> garbage out. Not right now. Uh, hit me with one of these. I'm going to actually try and recall here first. I think we need to break them all. I think it might be a free action, but it costs like 100 souls. Is that what it was? Here we go. The Hexagos channels power by changing its flames. Perform a certain action while each is active to charge it when one attack is played. So is it, does it change every time or? Ignites when two attacks are played. Ignition, apply four soul burn to a random enemy at the end of your turn. If this is ignited, advance to the next ghost flame. I, all right. We have, I don't know what this four is about here. That's, that's just our ignition, I guess. That's what it's Im implying when these activate. That's what's going to happen the first time you ignite a ghost flame. Two attacks. Ignite. It's four soul burn. It's not going to happen right away, though. And I can't kill anything. So I guess we'll go for a double defend into solo attack. We're going to take a little bit of damage. It's going to be annoying, but hey, we're starting to activate that one. Float, draw a card, advance. Move to the next ghost flame and extinguish, though. So we pop that. Ignited this one. <laughs> so strange. Uh... So we've uh, we've activated it. We've applied the soul burn to a random enemy. We we have done that. That has happened. So if we advance, it does not go away. Now we have this. Ignites when two skills are played. Why does it say four x two? Like we're about to ignition. Oh, that's the ignition. Okay, again. God, there's just a lot going on here. Uh. So this should. If this is exhausted, its effects activate. It's going to activate at the end of this. If we play a second. I mean, we might as well play this. Ignite your current and then move on. This is just... This is a lot. The character seems stronger at a level one, like, flat zero base than the last one did. But there is just so much wildness that is happening here that we got to get a grasp on. Ethereal. Deal 10 damage. When exhausted, add a Shadow Strike into your hand. Okay, which is Ethereal. Deal 8 damage twice. Reclaim Nightmare Strike. Exhaust. Uh, but it is not... When exhausted, add a Shadow Strike. Reclaim Nightmare Strike. Exhaust. 
So Shadow Strike is not um, does not come back in any way. It doesn't have Afterlife. Ethereal Afterlife. Okay. Basically, it will go away at the end of the turn. Gain seven block. When exhausted, gain a blur. Wait, what? Gain seven block. When exhausted, gain one blur. This seems really good. Hold on. Don't lose block at the end of your next... Of the end of the turn. I'm trying to see the downside in this. Ethereal. Afterlife. Okay. Oh, the, the, the thing is, we don't gain the block on exhaust. That's what it is. We gain the block only if we play it. Or we gain a blur if we don't. Okay, that, that's the catch. That's the catch. Deal 20 damage. Damage increased by the enemy's soul burn. Aye, 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 man. These are, these are wild. I'm going to go with Nightmare Strike because it sounds the most fun. Upgrade. Three random cards become cursed with flawed. At the end of the turn, transform all your cards into random status cards. Exhaust. Uh, what do we have for a, like, a shop? Ethereal at the end of the turn. Or we, we, we could also just play it in exhaust. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Upgraded Strike Float. You may choose to retract or advance. You can move to the prior. Okay, you can move to the prior Ghost Flames. Nightmare Strike upgraded. I don't remember what the non-upgraded version was. And we can't go back to see. I think it just does more damage. Yeah, it seems like it just does more damage, which is not bad. All right, uh, I would like to go to I would like to go to the fire, break my thing. We get strength, I believe, if we do that. All right, so we need to play two two attacks. I like the idea of flawed strike strike, which we, means we'll apply the ghost flame to him there, and then Seer is going to apply ten soul burn. So in a couple turns, in two turns, loses fourteen, and then soul burn is removed. So can we like apply? I don't know, man. Can we apply soul burn? Crushing when two skills are played, deal four damage, four damage to a random enemy twice. If we apply more soul burn now, would it go in two turns still, or would it be like two for fourteen and then three for ten or whatever? You know, it's kind of the thing. Ethereal, what, deal 13 damage, when exhausted, add a shadow strike to your hand. It seems decent. Let's, um, let's retract for a sec. I'm kind of, I don't know why I would do that, though, now that I think about it. It doesn't really apply. Yeah, this is, we're just taking a, taking a lot of, <laughs> a lot of time to, to process this. So we have activated both of these. Ignited. Ignites when two skills are played. We've done it. Bang, bang. We have ten block. We nightmare strike. Gotcha. So it shows the visual when it's going to actually proc there. That's actually very, very nice. So for the sake of science... Alright, so it does go on this next turn. Like, it doesn't add another three turn counter to it. That's actually very, very important to note. Eight damage if the enemy has soul burn detonated. Exhaust a card. If it was an attack or skill, add a random card of the opposite type to your hand. Oh boy. Wow. How would I properly use that? Random? Like obviously I know how to properly use exhaust in this deck. I can see the use case for that, but I don't know, random of an opposite type. Gain eight block advance. I don't know. Phantom Fireball seems really... Just, it seems so useful. Lose a strike. I'll happily lose a strike if I can do that for free. Spend 100 souls. Destroy key. Gain 100... Or gain one, one strike. 100 strength. Oh my god. Could you imagine? Phantom Fireball. 11. Detonate. Soul burn. Uh, ignite and advance. 
does not exhaust anymore. Afterlife, if this is exhausted, it, yeah, all the effects go. There's just a lot going on here. So wait, that other card has afterlife, doesn't it? This doesn't have afterlife. It must have been one of the ones we were looking at last time. All right, uh, I'm leaning towards upgrading fast forward. I clearly there is an exhaust archetype here. I'll take the I'll take the key. I don't know if we're gonna go for the whole thing, but potion belt is good. But I can also I feel like I can justify uh, not going for it. I think we want to just hold off on this one. We'll apply the, the 10. Ignite in advance. We're, we're, we're setting up them the bomb. Okay, so now we got to go. This turn, we pretty much got to go. So let's go back. Let's retract. And then we hit him with that. We hit him with another strike, adding even more soul fire there. We don't need to defend. There's nothing to defend against. Incoming danger. I only have one defend. That's, uh... That's the concern. When one skill is played... I'll do it. We'll hit him twice there. So if it's already been ignited, it can... Okay, we can actually proc it a second time. Okay. Why do we have 10 defense? Ah. Spirit Brand. They don't have any soul burn. No reason to detonate it. So the fact that this sticks between turns too is, is very crucial. Okay. But my question is like, can we just like keep on going? Is that going to be something? We are the Hexaghost after all. Like, can we do more? Can we keep going? Keep on doing attacks? Got three lit up. I want to try and retract and see if... Nope, that doesn't, doesn't do nothing. And with a double defend, we are going to at least hit him twice for just for our trouble there. Phantom Fireball is not really doing anything of too much concern right now. But we can go Nightmare Strike, and then theoretically, if we do this, when does the Soul Flame go? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this and see if it procs it. It does. It does. It does actually proc it. That was... I feel like that's going to come up later, so I just wanted to test that now. The first time you lose HP in combat, draw three cards. Liquid Bronze gives us Thorns. Ethereal Afterlife, gain seven block, draw a card. Ooh. Ethereal Afterlife, seven block, draw a card. Ethereal Seal. If this card is in the end of your turn... Uh, uh, what? Blah. In your hand at the end of the turn, it's exhausted. Exhausted cards are removed from your deck until the end of combat. Seal. Oh, wait, they're separate. Okay. If all six seals have been played, this combat, the broke, obtain the broken seal and remove all seals from your deck. Oh my god. What the hell? I don't, I don't know, man. How hard is that going to be to find them all? Do we do we even have them all unlocked? At the end of combat, gain an additional card reward. I'm going to go with this because it just seems like a really good card. I'm 
got to head down here to fight the elite. You walk by your statue on the seven mass, something around you, stop. Uh, fight 100% all face. I can't remember. Start each combat with weak. <laughs> Strength and weak. Great. Great. Okay, if we're going over to that guy, I'm going to do it now. Great. Retractor advance. I might as well uh, advance. Hit him with the block block. Then Hexagard should go. And then we draw an extra card. Okay. Interesting. 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 I gotta be honest. It doesn't matter if we play the flawed here. It's just... It's going to be probably irrelevant. Yeah. Forked Flame. Deal five damage, ignite the previous, and then the next ghost flames. Ignite the current one and then extinguish it. I, forked flame seems seems good, man. I mean, it's rare and it doesn't seem like it particularly has downsides. Like a lot of times, I feel like some of the rare stuff has a big catch to it. This one, I don't particularly see that being the case. Two attacks. I mean, Hexagard plays just by existing here. God only knows who this one's going to target here. Uh, ignite the previous and then the next. So previous... What did that do? Did that do, like, six-ish damage to everybody? Was that the whole thing? This character seems crazy, but really good. Like, that's what I'm- that's what's so strange today. Like, everything feels really broken. Like, OP. But I- I also don't really particularly know, uh, what is happening. But we are floating through this without too much of an issue. Apply seven soul burn twice if they already have soul burn. Apply five soul burn, repeat for each ignited ghost flame. Ooh, that kind of seems like it intersects with what we're doing here. Aw, hell. That's with the double trouble, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. If we go for Flawed and Defend here, we will proc Seer just by existing and block all of this. Okay, when he hits half, he does split. Hmm. I think we do that and then we stop. Because now, this turn, we can uh, we can explode big time. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. Right? Yeah, let's go. We're, we're sorting this out. This is crazy. Whenever you ignite a ghost flame, gain three block on a power. Six damage, six soul burn to all. If the current ghost flame is not ignited, gain an energy and deal 14 damage. Hit me with the radiant flame. Hit me with the radiant flame. I cannot wait to get rid of that, though. I wanted, to, I wanted to get us towards this here. Gonna have a lot of trash in our hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we have Hexagard. Uh, 
Does this proc this before we move on? Does this proc it before we move on? I do not know. It sure looked like it did. Oh, let's advance. What's the next one? Oh, does it... It's not just between the two, though. It's not just between the two. I don't think that's right, right? It's more than that. Uh... Boy, howdy. I think we go for a Nightmare Strike Phantom Fireball Defend. Because Hexagard's going to proc by itself. We only take one damage here, which is not too bad. Oh, boy. Okay. Six damage. Ignite the previous... Okay, wait. It ignites when a power is played. Gain four block and a strength. Alright. Okay, proc twice. Okay, very cool. Ignite the previous and the next. Meaning we'll get even more power, even more block. And then the next one is whatever the hell that is. I don't know. But we're here. Inferno Ghost Flame. Okay, so we can actually just see it right here. Searing, crushing. So we're on searing, crushing, searing, bolstering. That's why I got confused. Because it goes searing, crushing, searing, bolstering, back to searing. But it only takes one this time. And then it goes to Inferno. Ignites when spending three energy while well on it. Extinguishes at the end of any turn. Ignition deals six damage to a random enemy. For each ignited ghost flame, then extinguish all the others. Gain two intensity if six were ignited. Gotcha. I, okay. So it's it's like a super ultimate. It's like a PK star storm son of a gun up in there. It, it's just, if the more fires that we have uh, lit by the time we get there, the more crazy it is going to go, uh, effectively. So we're on this one, yeah? I don't have a... I don't have a full defend here. And I can't make it to bolstering. That being said, I do still think we try. Okay. I guess we were he we were here. Is there an indicator? Is there is there an indicator on that? I feel like there might be. Oh god. We have, we're on bolt string, but I don't have a power. Alright, we're gonna have to just take this damage then. We're gonna just have to take this damage, which is a shame. We got bops by the junk draw there. Uh charge barrage. Repeat for every... Okay, so we... I'm gonna ignite in advance. Which advanced us... Oh, that... It's where... Whatever it's sitting by. This is the one that is... Duh. Okay. Alright, gotcha. It's... It's... It's relatively clear in hindsight, but also, like... Also, it's not... Also, it's not. I'm gonna hit you with this first, actually. Go for the super ignite and then pop it off there. Cringe when stream I not see it. Alright, we're gonna full block it at the very least there. So it's whenever you ignite each turn we get it, which is quite nice. Spend more energy. I kinda wanna just let's do it. Gotcha, so we had four. Wow. Wild meat on the bone. If your HP is at or below 50% at the end of combat, heal 12. Not true, but good to have. 
Ethereal gain 9 block when exhausted at a Shadow Guise. Ethereal gain 7 block twice. It costs 2 energy, though. It's not bad. It's just, like, I don't know. Gain 7 block for every ignited Ghost Flame. Upgrade a random card in your hand. Doesn't say for combat, but I'm pretty sure it's just for combat, but... Oh my god, on the first one, we play 10 cards, draw a card. Sounds great. Oh, fight, Odin. So, we would, by doing this, we'll ignite the future one, which will be a double strike and the AoE super blast. Which seems kind of bonkers. I think we just take a damage here, right? Or we, we don't have to. Aw, oh, bad soul burn target. Bad soul burn target. Bad. All right. Easy enough. Inferno potion down will ignite the Inferno ghost flame. Ooh. Inferno vis visage, whenever you ignite a ghost flame, apply four soul burn to all enemies. Having a second power sounds kind of nice for that one specific light. Delay damage after soul burn detonates on this enemy. Apply 12 soul burn. Good. Deal 7 damage if they have soul burn. Gain a block. It's all really good. I'm going to take the extra power. I, I'm a little on the fence about, about it there. Whenever Ironclad generates a status card, duplicate a duplicate duplicate. <laughs> oh my god. A duplicate is added into your discard pile. Okay, so we don't really want them to be going for them there. Seems to be the general idea. I don't have it to fend. I'm not too worried about it, though. Genuinely. Genuinely, I am none too concerned. We do get that five block just for free, too, like usually. Alright, can we get to the power one? Ignite the current one advanced. No, we can't make it there, but... It might make sense to do so, anyways. I can get five block, and we do have hexaguard. I'm gonna go for this, I am going to advance. Oh, you little devil. Of course we drew float. Of course we drew float. But we're going to get... Um, get a decent chunk of defense from Hexagard. I don't really need to... Go for it now. I'm going to apply a bunch of Soul Burn. Draw a card you may choose to retract or advance. Eh. Okay, since we drew our power, we don't wanna we don't wanna advance. I was doing that just in case we could keep the power. Ooh, wait, okay. Now we kind of want to advance. Is there a way to advance? Ah, now I wish we advanced. Okay, this gives us the power upgrade and the armor. I don't know. I'll do this just so it upgrades its stinking defend for later, maybe. 49 damage is about to pop off there. That is pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, uh, 21 damage. 21 damage, add a burn to your discard pile. I mean, that's not really gonna... Not really gonna matter here. Yeah, we need to play a power. It might be better to just move on. Ooh, wait. We have fast forward, ignite, and move on. 
Okay, that gives us the power and the strength, or the, the, the strength and the defense, which I do actually really like here. We're not going to break through this armor. Do you have, do you keep it? You're not keeping it. So there's not really any reason to do anything. Uh, I think we defend and then we set up a nightmare strike so that we don't have the super expensive one. This is going to be painful, but... All right. Um... You're going to generate a lot of block. Whenever you ignite a ghost flame, gain three block. It's probably it's probably too late at this point to really particularly care. We probably shouldn't do it in this order, but we do get to apply lots of soul burn that hopefully we can detonate for the big funny boom. And we might as well do this since we have no other desire here, really. Oof. Wait. Oh, let's go! Ultimate! Ultimate power! Oh. Not as ultimate power as I had wanted. It ignited this one. Wait, what's this? Steals eight damage. So whenever we move to a new one, it, d it extinguishes it. At the end of the turn, if this is ignited, advanced automatically to the next ghost flame. Yeah. Does that only apply to that one? Man, 30 minutes in, I'm still learning some basics here. This is definitely a much trickier character. And I'm kind of, like, incredibly here for it. Uh, I blow up the big bomb. I, I knew I wasn't going to lose there, so, like, we're all good. Add a card to your deck, fifth seal. At the end of combat, upgrade a random card in your deck. I mean, that's super cool. You no longer advance to the end of your turn. At the start of your turn, gain energy. Interesting. Retain, ignite the Inferno Ghost Flame. You no longer advance at the end of your turn. Do we want that? Sorry, hiccups. Oh, my God. At the start of your turn, gain energy. Lots of our moving on, we do manually. I think we can handle that. In addition to getting one more power, you can no longer rest at rest sites. A little spooky. You can no longer obtain potions. I'll tell you what. I suck at using my potions. Anyways, I have a deep case of too good to use syndrome. All right. Boss here, a couple fights. We've not fought the shopkeeper once. One dex break. Okay. Max HP up, dex, strength. We got it all, baby. 10 damage. This, I mean, that's not quite what I wanted there. Here and now, I don't mind that going down to free. I find that to be really usable. 10 block. 7 soul burn. Ooh, that could actually be... 7 soul burn for every ignited. That, that stacks up. That's actually kind of huge. Kind of huge. I'm going to upgrade the here and now, though, because that, go, that becoming free is really nice. Uh, fight arena champions, gain many rewards. Fight captive hero, gain many rewards. Uh, okay, I'll fight you. Oh god, I probably shouldn't have. Get rid of Flawed immediately. Here and now, we'll start with it. What's the plan here? What you got? Poison is blockable, deals damage in turn, receive it. Yeah. Understood.
kind of want to move on to the next. Forked Flame. What's an upgraded antidote do? Oh, it's just free! Hey! That's actually going to be really nice for this fight. That's going to be really nice for this fight. I'll do this to activate it. Why not? Let's see how much this not advancing manually is going to cause a big problem. Yeah, I'm, notice I'm noticing the concerns here. I'm definitely noticing the concerns with it. I think that prior, uh, or probably a little less, uh, give it a little bit less credit than we shoulda, shoulda, shoulda. We're gonna take three damage if we do nothing. Play both of them. Fine. Okay. Charge barrage. Five soul burn. Repeat for every. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe we'll just have to keep it in mind. I think that's the big thing. We don't need a phantom fireball to blow that up right now. Not necessarily. Uh, but I also don't have a whole lot of defend here. We don't need to do it right now. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, how the hell did that work out? Okay, it was strange. Okay, so we ignited and we advanced. When we advanced to it, it unignited. Gotcha. Two attacks, supply sober. Okay, so we have a bunch of ignites. Two, three, four. We might have a do. Nothing we really need to worry about here. We have plenty of armor. All right. Again, not, not too particularly bad. I will play the free antidote. We probably should have moved on first. the previous okay the, the upgrade just yeah 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 draw a card advance we won't be able to activate this one anymore because of what we did we're I'm, it's none of it's a concern though really I just need to block all this boink alright we win we took two damage oh freaking no Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> oh my god. I feel very busted. I feel so overpowered. The Courier. Merchant restock cards, relics, potions. All prices are reduced 20%. Cool. I can't get that. Uh, I would not mind another thing that lets us move forward. Deal 4 damage twice. Reclaim a random afterlife card. That's pretty cool. Apply 7. Apply 7. I guess that's the, that's the reason to not, gotcha, that's, duh, that's the reason to be concerned about this. It's still, it still exhausts, like, it's a good card and it still exhausts, though. That being said, we could just stack our deck with a lot of them, you know? It's not bad. Sort of seals it down to RNG, though. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to skip. Strike from beyond it was very tempting. Obtain Ritual Dagger. Or lose 6 HP. Deal 15 damage if fatal. Permanently increase the card's damage by 3. Uh, Well, not right now. I'm going to go to the shop. Because we need to start doing damage to them uh, here right now. Okay. Strike strike stoke the fire
We need them? Eh. Eh. Hardly matters. Okay. Scooch on forward. Two skills. Okay. We've ignited. We'll apply soul burn. Um... I don't love that. Oh, missing the fast forward there is a little bit sad. Flood, probably good to get rid of. Ignite the next and the previous. Next is uh, for soul burn. All right. Going a lot on that guy's like super dead in a moment. We can just play everything though. Next turn, you're so dead, man. Okay. Forked flame him. Put the armor and the strength up. I can't believe I'm finally starting to like process in the back of my head what things are actually going to be happening. Oh, we got a shadow strike for the first time. We can use it if we want to reclaim. I don't feel like I need to, though. Retract. Lose 5 HP. Gain 1 intangible. That's cool. I don't think I want to do it. Uh, this has been... It was tough to pass this up last time. Now it's upgraded. I'll do it. I'll do it. We only have one afterlife card, and it is very good. I want to get flawed out of my deck so bad. I mean, we'll do it here, I guess, finally. Hi there. Hello there. Womp. Oh, we do have two. We have two. Night in advance. Oh, no. We don't have a power. Uh, doesn't really matter. Ooh. Maybe we'll get to do something next turn. We get, a, we get a little something something off. Uh. I don't, it just doesn't matter. We'll get our, yeah, our ethereal card back. Oh, it doesn't go back in our hand, though. We just get it in general. Bop, 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 bop. I can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at that. This is a pretty good turn. This was a pretty good turn. We actually have nothing ignited anymore. Uh... He's going to run, so even though this is suboptimal in all other cases, since it's our last turn and we're just trying to get as much damage as possible, it just makes sense. All right. Cool. Six damage and apply six soul burn X times. If X is three or more, also apply two weak. Four damage, apply four, 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 uh, four souls burn three times. None of this is what I'm looking for. I'm kind of looking for another advanced card if I can. I am obviously removing my curse. <laughs> like, uh, an advanced card would be really nice. We're actually, like, really low on money. Why is that? Oh, duh. 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 Block equals to soul burn on all enemies and remove soul burn. 12 block when you're attacked. Apply four soul burn to the attacker. Six damage apply soul burn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cards and ghost flames apply two more soul burn. That is not a bad power at all. I'll take it. I'm like on the fence, though, about adding as many powers as I am. Dig up a random relic? When did we get that? Oh. Oh. Prevent the first time you'd lose HP each combat. Why not, man? Yeah. Whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. Curious. 
Hello there, mister. Time to spin a wheel. There's nothing really I can do here. RNG be darn. Yoink. Good RNG. Papa needs a... Uh, what is this? Gain a curse? Looks like you won a curse. That's not good. Oh, well, better luck next time. What? Looks over his shoulder quickly, relaxes. You eye him gesturing with his hand, but disregard it. Now, now, friend, the wheel is fairly decided your reward. No one gets a second spin. Again! Uh, Nob! A lumbering gremlin emerges from the shadows, towering over a gremlin at the table, and you, my friend here, suggests you take what the wheel has offered. Let's do it. Oh, God. Okay, gotcha. Fight the gremlin, Nob. I'm down. Shoot. Don't get actually ignite here. We do get the hexaguard armor. It's slightly upgraded. It'll come back. Strike from beyond goes in the hand. Oh, that's right. We get. I always forget the five there. That's. It's just so nice. Uh. Interesting. So we don't really want to play a whole lot of skills. So we'll do the AoE Wombo Bombo. Wombo Mambo number five. Definitely do that. Definitely strike from the on. The question is, do I want to double double guard? Of which I will say yes, because I think we can destroy him this turn. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. It was scary for a sec, but we're we're busted. At each rest site, you may spin a wheel once, choosing to collect its reward uses up this relic. And 100 souls. That worked out. Oh, I don't know why. I, I hate these birds, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. I will not proc it. I will not proc it. Okay. We hit them uh, what, three times. They they cancel their attack and they fall to the ground. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They take what? Half? Yeah, they take half damage until that happens, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody gets the soul flame. You get the soul flame. You get the soul flame. We should have probably done this first. We definitely should have done that first because we don't have another block. Uh, igniting the inferno soul flame. Do I do it here? It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Theoretically, you'll fall. Okay. We're good. You're gonna die. You'll die too. Does that get refresh? I can't remember at the start of the turn. Okay. We have Phantom Fireball to blow up one. Ignite the previous and the next. We're currently on this one. Um, hit me with it. Hit me with it. Bop, 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 bop. This is some. This is some wild stuff. You kill both of these, we do just win, and I feel like we should be able to. Why? Wait, we don't. We'll have to draw a card. If we retract, we'll go into super mode. We need to spend three energy, which is something we can do. Should do it, right? Yeah. Ba 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 ba. 
Stoke the fire. Defend ourselves. This guy's gonna... No, that goes off before his attack. Okay. Incredible. Zoom to ethereal cards. Put them from your exhaust pile to your hand. Maybe. The current go ghost flame is not ignited. Gain energy and gain 12 block. Like, these are not bad cards. I'm just not gonna do them. Free action to spin the wheel. You don't have to take it, I don't think. No, I'm not gonna take it. Try again later. At this point, yeah, I'll just dig me up another relic. Sneaky Teak with another wholesome first member that's not Retromation. Oh, rip days. Uh, hello, Sneaky Teak. At the start of each combat, ignite the current ghost flame and then advance. That's actually really good. That's really good. That's really nice for us. For all the situations except for um, us wanting to pop this on turn one for whatever reason, I don't think that's going to be particularly common. All right, where are we? Float, we can move to the next. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, there's a good chunk of defend. Not much I can do here. We have to we have to take a lot of that. Oh no, we blocked the first we blocked the first damage. Let's go. Let's go. We can get the power upgrade too. Whenever you ignite a ghost flame apply for soul burn. I guess I want to do that one first, even though like we would want that, but uh, eh. Ignite Advance. Can't spend three energy this turn, though. No, where are we? We're right here. We were on this when we had ignited the one in front of us. Okay. That's actually huge. So now we're here. We can maybe, uh, we can maybe get this last one on the end of here. Float to the next. Advance. Just spend three energy. It's as easy as that. This should be a no-brainer. You would have thought. How does this... Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, how does this work with his uh, his weird little thing where he gets armor whenever he gets hits, though? 12 damage retract. Backtrack smack. Haunted hand. Ethereal afterlife. Draw two cards. All cards in your hand become ethereal. See, I see. That's that's like the... Um, there's gotta be a trinket somewhere that activates that build to, like, a ridiculous degree, more or less. Do we care about going to the... shop? I'm actually gonna go get a free relic. The shovel has been so crazy beneficial for us. Been so unbelievably beneficial. I don't know why I saved Stoke the Fire for last to make that happen, because, like, do I care about the upgrades really that much? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. 14 damage coming our way. Uh, where are we? We're on this one. We could float to the next and play a power. I like that. Gives us the armor and the strength. This gives us everything we need. Um, hit me with it. What are you at? Are you going to die? You're not going to die. But I think we can proc it. I think we can get it. We, can, we just got to do one little... Oh, that's right. You have a stinky dinky heal. You little devil. Uh, we can't move on. We can... I mean, we could Phantom Fireball. Yeah, 
38. That's a kill, which also procs this, which does the fire on you. Uh, 14 damage. We can fully defend it. All right, we're fine. Yeah, uh, we could play whatever. I don't. I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I might care. Um. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Extra crispy first might have been better. At this point, we might as well do that. We're going to take a little hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're not. That thing is busted. God, that's a perfect item for me. I always take, like, a hit-ish. Like, roughly about a hit. So that's working so well for us. I don't know. If it was pre-upgraded, I would take it with like without even thinking about it. I would take it and I would not even consider it. <laughs> this is rigged. This might it might actually be rigged. For each curse in your deck, start each combo with the strength. Uh, it's irrelevant at the moment. Maybe we'll become re relevant later. All right, uh, we're currently at the two skill. So we ignite that, move on. We're fully blocking. Sure. All right. We can move on to the next, we have the power. Don't have the ability to move on. Oh, oh, we didn't play the other thing, so we let's go. We didn't even play this, the power yet, so we we can move on. We move on automatically. Incredible. Forgot that that was contingent. Upgrade it all. Fine. I hope this goes on this target. It did. Very nice. Suffer. Okay, now whenever we play a non-attack card, shuffle the days into our pile. I think that we can get away with this being okay. Um uh, so being said, we can also just proc this, do the super blast. Also, it's an attack card, anywho. Okay. Night advance. I'll kill you next turn. I'm, I'm not going to actually... Well, we should have proc that, definitely. We would have gotten an extra 10 damage, so technically it would have been the way to go. But literally, we just need to do three uh, energies worth of cards here. Like, Reign of Embers, eight damage play. Soulburn, eight Soulburn, eight X times. It's... Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say this isn't good. In fact, I'm probably just going to take it. I think it's really good. Especially now that it's upgraded and it's a multi-strike, I think we can make some good use out of that. Here now. Boom. Move on. Advance. We're on attack now. I don't have the stuff that can happen. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a really big hit here. Wait. Be, 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 be. No, I'm gonna take no damage here. But conceptually, this is concerning. <laughs> conceptually, yikes. We block that entirely. All right, Reign of Embers is a very big one to potentially play here.
Do we just go ham? I think we do this first. And then we go ham. Because I want to I don't want that card to go away. Alright. Huge. They die this turn. I just need to hit them three times. Which is actually gonna be tough. What the heck? What the heck? Oh my god, screw you. I'm gonna play this first. I know what's happened. I know, I know, I know. Uh move to the next. It also means we do a proc this again. Do I care? Does proccing the soul burn the proccing the soul burn should actually count as an extra source of damage now that I think about it. Right? It does. Okay. Also also more importantly, it literally just kills him. Just kidding, JK LOL72 Soul Flame on there. Don't mind if I do. Goodbye, boom. Ecto Cooler is nothing we get. Okay, again, but for free though. I will take it if it's free. If it's a it's a zero cost now. Alright, defect. If you fight them in different zones, they have different stuff. Begins to fight with two bronze orb minions. Okay, gains one artifact at the end of the turn if they did not already have artifact. Um. I guess we do this. It's sort of weird. And then we do this in advance. I think we get, I think we get away with it. All right, probably fine. I don't know what they're gonna do. They're, do they steal my card? Is that what they do? They're from that one boss. Yeah, they steal those cards until I kill them. All right, what are we on? So we can ignite and extinguish. Oh, this is actually weird. This is actually very weird. Um. Okay, it's a target I don't really want it to. Block, channel of frost, gain 30 block. You cannot gain block from cards for two turns. Um, to kill one of these jabronis. Can't remember what Volcano Visage is. I do know that I want Forked Flame, though. I know that with Confidence. Confidence. Also, they're annoying. Okay, so that's the first block. Yeah, he's going... We, we are not going to bother touching him right now. Okay, uh... I like it. I like it. I like it. We could stoke the fire. Are we going to be taking a lot of damage? We're going to be taking lots of damage. We're going to definitely want to stoke the fire. Um, Hexagard is going to play automatically here. The question is how much damage we can take. Eight. Okay. 14. 23. 30. 30 damage. We're going to get 11. We probably play this, though, actually, right now. We might be able to do again into Extra Crispy if we don't play it right now. So I'm tempted to save it there. 28. I don't, I don't think we need to be too worried about taking a little bit of damage. We heal up after this. It's not that... It's really not that big of a deal. That's the thing. It's like... It seems theoretically scary. Do 
Do we move on? Wait, do we move on to the next and proc this? No, we want to proc this because we want to get the armor and the power. The fight's going to go on a little bit longer yet. Okay. Nightmare Strike. I think we Nightmare Strike this jabroni. Get him out of here. Orked Flame. I want... I want to... Oh my god. Float. Float. Advance. Orc Flame. We're, we are going to break through his armor, so we might as well go for this right now. It's only one target. Or that, or we just got insanely unlucky. <laughs> Which is totally possible. Uh, hit me with this. That's going to really add up. Currently none too concerned. He's doing the super block again. He's flawed. Haha. -ha. No way we have frail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Charge barrage. Where are we? Fast fast forward we could. Yeah. Fine. Stoke the fire. I guess I could. We upgrade something. Charge barrage. That's actually a really good one to upgrade for what it for what it's worth. Um one, two. Okay, so it can hit multiple targets. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. That hurts. Um. This is weird. We have no defend. Uh, unlucky. Very unlucky. Very, very unlucky on that one. But at least we're doing a, a large sum of damage. It could be worse, and we do get the 11 because we've ignited a couple things and we have the free, uh, the free block there. Okay. Oh, this is, I mean, this is better. Advance. Okay, where are we at? We're at 25. We're, we're, we're fine. Get rid of one artifact. Go for the super duper. We're doing pretty well considering the fact that the artifact is screwing us over like really a lot. We have again. We have charged barrage. Forked flame. Procking the extra soul flame there. Uh, Don't have like an... Ex Dream out. So basically, we want to ignite as many as we can right now. Ignite as many as we can. We get more armor. Okay. He's on a timer. Son of a gun's on a timer. Good deal. Bye-bye. All right. Unlimited power. Ignite all ghost flames in order. Do we have the... Wait. Do we have the ability to do that? Do we have five? We do. We actually... We do. Ignite the Inferno Ghost Flame Exhaust whenever you play an afterlife card. I'm going to take it. Unlimited power! You can no longer see enemy intents. Replace the spirit brand the first time you ignite a ghost flame each turn. Gain an energy. Ah! Dude! This is pain. I want that so bad. But I don't have... I don't have a lot of defense. I know that's my problem, but... 
Let's take it and let's just... We have to pivot a little bit further to defense then. That's really what needs to happen then. That's all. Just pivot a little bit further to defense. That's it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I mean, that's good, right? Like, that's about as good. Tenth attack. Every tenth attack you play does double damage. Um, I think that'll be nice. It's not, like, as relevant as you'd probably think. Choose an attack. Start each combat with that in your hand. Always want a forked flame first? I would if we didn't move forward. I would say yes. If we get the immediate energy, it's sort of free. Immediate ignite does help. Okay. Yeah, we really, really need to make sure we get more. Uh, we should have done that first. More energy. Okay. Alright, we can block it all. Let's just prioritize adding defensive things to our deck. Um, oh. Uh, it's terrifying. We get the three armor for every single one, but like, it's like, how much is it really actually doing here to defend us? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Here and now, sure. It, it does a lot. I didn't take any damage, so it's not that bad. Hey, can't, can't be too mad. Double attack, or we could sh move on to the power. I don't have a second attack? Are you for real? This is nightmarish. Fen. I could scoot back. I mean, I'm more likely to be able to do that. Oh. Now it's different. Things have changed. I think we can kill, right? We can kill... Yeah, we can definitely kill you with... You have eight on you. Uh, three. Uh, the soul burn applies, so we could do like a little bit of a... Uh, be, 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 be. I think we're fine if we do a little bit of... This first, we do three first. It should work. Because the soul burn should proc before he does his thing. It should. It sure should. I don't trust it, though, so I'm going to go a little overkill on it. Okay, we're going to take a hit. It was pain. I probably should have done it on him regardless. Yeah, I should have definitely done it. No question. No doubt in my little old mind. Okay, we'll proc the soul burn on him. Doesn't matter. We, we've, like, really got it. Uh, four damage and apply four soul burn four times. I mean, it's good. Like, these are good cards, but again, I just can't take them right now. If anything, we have to stray defensive. If anything, we have to stray defensive. Oh, my God. It's like, it doesn't even do, like, that much. It's only good if we have other things to proc. Feels like. Uh. Okay. Fan of Fireball stoked the fire. Bring 
forever ignited ghost flame. Let's do it like this. Do it like that. Let's see what happens. I guess stoke the fire there. Sure, fine. Sure, okay. Sure, bang. It's good damage, but I don't know if we're gonna kill him today. Current thought. Yeah, yeah, we definitely want to retract. Womp, womp. Can we pop these? Unsure. Oh, we have the extra energy. Never mind. It's irrelevant. Don't have to worry about it. Gonna. S yeah. I was hoping. Soul burn, it doesn't matter here. Yeah, this doesn't matter. We want to do that one first. This is the most damage we can do. It's a lot, and we almost could pop him if we could get the soul burn to go, but we can't. One more run in with him, and I think we could handle it. Third seal at the end. Yeah, it's too late. When exhausted, deal seven damage. I and mean, that's cool. Where's the card? Why's that blinking? Oh, but just because we're at the because we are here. Um, alright, retract, gain an energy. Oh, interesting. That's not dumb. Every three times you shuffle your draw pile, every three attacks, gain a strength. I need defensive stuff. I can't take potions. 10 block, 10 damage. Add a random boss card to your hand. Um, boss slime, gain 10 block on your next turn. Gain three energy, add slime crush into your hand. It's, uh, it's not bad, it's really not bad. It's really not. A random... This seems good, though. 10 block, 10 damage. Add a random boss. That's... F card that's free. I I'll take it. And then I'm gonna remove a... An unupgraded strike. I think that's where we're at. I, I do like the idea of rewind, though. To an extent. Fight yourself, I am an echo. Lose heart blessings. Oh, God. I am gorged. Gain 999 souls. There is another shop. To normality. Uh... Let's fight myself. I'm a frightened. It shouldn't be bad. It should not be bad. But he might be like an upgraded version, is my concern. Oops. Do that first. Ding dong. Okay. We shall see. Oh, that seems scary. Oh, that's scary indeed. Um, your mind boss collector remove all enemy block apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies. It's really good timing on that actually. Reducing that down to 5 times 6 is much better. So that's 30 damage. Uh, block another. That'll be... Oh, God. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be 5 damage. Just 3 more apply to weak. We're not going to do that. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. 
Yeah. We got Hexaghost. Hexaghosted. Ignite the current and move on. I actually like that. Or, ooh, I like again. And then an ignite move on. I like that a lot, in fact. Uh, now we want to double attack. That shouldn't be too tough to do. Do super upgrade, though, first. Strike. Then phantom fireball. Should ignite that after for a lot. Um, have we played the thing that lets it... Yeah, we can no longer advance. All right. Um, I feel like we need to... I, I'm saving these, and I don't feel like we need to be saving them as much as I am. I think that that's silly. Unlimited power? Probably. Bop, 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 bop. Stack it, stack it, stack it. Womp, 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 womp. Do like it. It is very good. Uh... I'll hit him with the again. We got all the block as well. So much power. I don't know. I guess I'll apply that directly. We're, we, we're fine. We're fine. I do wish we could just blow this up immediately. That would be very cool. Nightmare Strike into Forked Flame. Feels like it would do it. Because it should proc the big boy. He has a hundred soul fire on him. Unceasing top. Whenever you have no cards in your hand during a turn, draw a card. That actually, I think, will be relevant. If the current ghost flame is not ignited, gain an energy in 12 block. I feel like that sounds good here. What's shadow, guys? No. This doesn't play if we don't use it. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Shield of the Night. To put my money where my mouth is on, on that saying that we need block, let's let's act like it. Um where are we? We're here. Music the sounds gone squeaky. Maybe we don't play that every time. Okay. Nice. Nice. Pen nib, or uh, unceasing top. Really, really clean here, actually. I can't believe how creepy this sounds. But no. It's just a creepy. I can play everything. Oh. <laughs> Unplayable. <laughs> Never. I uh, take that back. I take that back. All right. Stinking dazed. Stupid dog. Um, visage. Evil. Slime crush. Next turn. Slime theoretically will soon crush. I should have gone for the upgrade of it, but it just it hasn't mattered. I love it. All right. First time you retract each turn and gain an energy draw card. Ooh. Do six damage repeat for every ignited ghost flame. This could actually be kind of huge for us. I'm going to say no, though. I really I, I just want to be kind of careful. We may run from this. God, where's my music? Is it here? Uh, okay. Just go all out. Pretty much have to. Okay, Seer will play itself and then theoretically we'll draw an extra card. No, we don't actually draw. It wasn't still, wasn't technically our turn there. Um... That's good. Okay. 
Okay, keep going. Stoke the fire. Defend. Fireball. We get to play another card. Here and now. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll play it. I don't know. He loses armor. Or not armor, uh, defense there. Okay. We definitely want to float first. Unlimited power isn't as good here. It's not bad. It's just not as good here. We're mine. Remove all enemy block. Apply three weeks. Three vulnerable to all enemies. Don't mind if I do. Hexacard first. See what we got. Ignite. Move on. We're on to attacks. It's irrelevant. All right. I am terrified. Uh, we are about to run out of time. But we are also about to proc. But that doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, scooch forward. Advanced. Okay. Just need to spend energy until we proc it. It's decent. It's decent. It's decent. It's decent. Uh oh. One. Oh god, do we run? Have we been, uh, has this been procced yet? I don't think our free hit thing has been procced yet. It has. Hmm. We don't have anything to draw. So we literally just have to go through all of it here. Which feels a little silly. And then, of course, we draw that. We block all this. As long as we're continuing to block everything, we don't really need to worry too much. Here comes the 35 damage and a very, very quiet little gentle crackle, which is almost kind of nice. Yeah, ask me. Almost. I'm gonna pop this. I want to defend. Hmm. Ignite advance. Gives us a little bit of armor there to play around with. 35. That's a lot of defense there. Ay, ay, ay. Do we take the damage? I think we just take the damage. I think that there's going to be something maybe scarier later. Oh, wait. Did we not... Do we actually not take damage? Okay. Reign of Embers, theoretically... If this doesn't proc, I'm so mad. If this does not work, I am going to be actively angry. This should keep me uh, from taking damage. This should happen before his move. Okay. I was going to say, whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy. Sounds good. Wait. Yeah, okay. Having a second one is not going to cause a problem, right? Whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand causes zero that turn. Even better timing on that. Every three attacks, gain four block. This run is busted. Light them both up. Bonk. Do our mine, I guess. Should maybe do that first, I guess, just in case. Another skill, probably. Float to the next. Start going for the attacks. All right, we're good. We're good, baby. We're good. We're all good. Uh, we are not gonna be able to defend here. <laughs> uh, that sucks, actually. That actually really sucks. I have zero defense. There's some. Oh, that worked out really well. Worked out really well. I forgot that that was going to work that way. The power, it really popped off there. Okay, okay, okay. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang. We get the extra draw. Stoke the fire. Even more defense. We get to block all of it. Oh my god, that worked out so well. Timing. The absolute timing. 
Get out of here. Give me all the money. Detonate. Gain eight block advance is actually like so perfectly what we want. Card removal. Is there something I don't care about in my deck? I'm actually like really happy with basically everything in my deck. We might be able to get rid of... Uh, I would want to get rid of Stoke the Fire at some point here, but... Unlimited power is just a one-time thing, and I'm just not too concerned about it. A basic strike could be a good remove. Let's see if there's another good thing here. A damage draw card for every ignited flame is very fun. But we actually don't really want to draw too much. Whenever you break block, apply vulnerable, unplayable curse cards can be played. The start of your third turn, gain a bunch of block. I'm going to do that. Um, first time you ignite a ghost flame each turn, advance. That actually is going to be really nice. Whenever you ignite a ghost flame, gain three block. Another one? Sure. Ethereal afterlife. Okay, this is getting stupid. This is getting stupid. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Don't don't go any further. Heal 25 HP at the start of bosses. Uh mathematically. No, mathematically we don't want to do that because we heal at the start of bosses. Um these are all, like, long-term benefits that we can't really afford to go for right now. Because there's not that much left in the game. So, oh, that's right. We got the unupgraded here and now. Oof. We might want to actually... We might want to ditch this one. Yeah, I think we want to ditch this one. That's guaranteed 14 damage on turn one. Seems like a bad time. Unlimited power, maybe? Probably? The question is if we forked flame first. Because we will generate the energy again to use it. Yeah, because we can't play this and then that. We can fork flame unlimited power. We can't volcano vi 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 volcano visage and then unlimited power. So we should ignite gaining the energy. Oh my god, we get the energy immediately, you dingus. Alright. Oh, okay. Undingused. I am now undingused. We gotta remember that. We gotta remember that so we can do that on purpose instead of continually just doing it on accident and being extremely happy that it just happened to happen to us. Oh, we almost got him there? Cannot play that, of course. We don't have a lot of two-cost stuff in our deck, but that one is. Okay, well, we got you. The whole, like, unplayable... Oh, wait. That thing that was, like, your unplayable cards become playable could have been good. I took damage stupidly there. Block in advance. Okay, where are we at? What's going on? Creepy, creepy sound, creepy sound. You are so, 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 so dead, man. You're so, 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 so dead. <laughs> oh my god, you are so, so dead. Do we really get this for free? Three-plated armor just for free? I just want to see. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really that good. It is truly that good. Another Nightmare Strike. Another Forked Flame? I probably shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I'm stuffed. Let's 
start with that, see what we get. Chrono Boost. One strength for every 12th card you play. Might as well put that down now. Boink. Please give me an attack. Sure, there we are. First time you ignite, advance. God, this is so good. Ah, okay. Unlimited power. Uh, if we play this in the right order, we can make unlimited power free. Or we can just do it. There we go. Apply four soul burn to everybody for whatever it's worth. We're not going to pop it on anybody, though. Man. Defend. Uh, can we fork flame? I have faith. I have faith that this final card will be something good. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got it. We got it. We got it. Extra crispy. Give me the one that, that procs it. Nah, Shield of Night can maybe go. We don't really want too many two cost cards in our deck at the moment. Ignite Advance. Give me another attack. You did not. But I will play everything. <laughs> How am I even getting all of this dang armor? It's crazy. How am I getting all this armor? What is happening? Can I like... How do I... I mean, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll save and quit after this one. I'll see if I can... I'm a little scared about it. All right. Oh, boy. Please. Oh, my God. It was there the whole time. Okay. If we, if we, the adoption was there the whole time. The Watcher. This is my first time actually fighting the Watcher. All right. What is it? Whenever you play a power, a random card is zero. Why did it feel like it happened when I played a skill? Gain six plated armor. Just do it. I don't have any power. I got no power. Just proc it all right away. Okay, we actually got to see what ha is happening here. Watcher gains one mantra whenever mantra whenever you play a card. Loses five at the start of her turn. Does not exit divinity at the end of her turn. Downfall in three turns. Okay, no, 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 no. Watcher gains one mantra whenever you play a card. Loses five at the start of her turn. So basically, we don't want to play a lot of cards. Right? Okay. It's understandable. So just don't play another card. It's a lot of plated armor. The unfortunate thing is we like playing lots of cards. We really like playing lots of cards. Uh ay 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 ay. So what does Mantra do? When you take when you obtain 10 enter divinity. For now. Assuming you don't enter some kind of crazy mode. Like, immediately? I'm gonna... I don't know. I, I'm scared about that. I don't want it... If you have anything that's like, add blank mantra, can only be played if it's the only attack in your hand, deal 30 damage. Don't love that.
Okay, strike from beyond. Got became free. Man, this Watcher is pretty good against us right here. Pretty good against us right here. I cannot deny. Cannot deny. They are frustratingly good against us. Okay. They go to nine. Now they're down to four. Exit your stance. You're not in a stance. When you ignite. Okay. All right. All right. All right. If the current ghost flame is not ignited. Uh, uh, six. Seven. Nine. Now we technically shouldn't play this, right? Oh, that. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you for this. But truthfully, we shouldn't do anything. We come out ahead on this turn if we don't do anything. Now this is pain. Now this is pain racing. At the start of your turn, gain two mantra. See, this is the thing. That's the thing. We're kind of racing that. We're kind of racing that. All right. Says it's. This isn't true. What do we get? 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 Six. If I play this, it goes up to seven. Oh God. We don't want this. To, we don't want them to be in super mode. Are they going to be in super mode anyways? So they're going to do twenty-one, and they're they're going to do a little bit of damage to us. God, the devotion is so annoying. I think that the super mode makes it so they do like double damage or something. So I got to be really careful with that. All right. Uh, Rain of Ember could actually just be the way to go. Where are we? We're here. Orked Flame, Rain of Ember. Because then we'll activate this, we'll activate this one, and then we'll move up while only technically playing one card, and then we can Reign of Embers to activate it again, technically again. Oh, oh no, we can't unactivate it. We'd have to do something else. That all being said, I, do, I think it's 100% worth it, because it is technically only one card. All right. Good deal. We're, we're, we're handling it. We're handling it. We're at three. I'm not too concerned at the moment, actually. Um... We can do an attack, I guess. Damage twice. I think so. We want Seer back. I do. I do. Okay, six. They're going to get two. Is it? Wait, at the start of the end. Start of your turn, get two mantra. What happens first, though? The plus five, or the lose five, or the gain two? If the gain two happens first, then they don't exit the, the stance. Then that's the problem. Then that's the problem. Okay, there's seven. Just in case. Wait, there. Why'd they go to two? Oh no, they did went. They went down to two. Okay, so yep, 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 yep. The five minus five happens before the plus two, so we can get them up to. We can we can still get them up to seven or uh, up to. Sorry, eight. We can still get them to eight, and it's fine. Technically. Nine. We can get them to nine. Duh. As long as it's the last turn. Is this even relevant anymore?
I need to draw a new card. Okay, there we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. It's not like the thing, but hey, guess what? We'll be fine. There's eight. I'm not doing anything else. Oh, that technically played it, though. That did technically play it. That was a little bit scary. That being said, you were very, very dead. But not after you do get, like, a nice hit off on me, maybe? Maybe? We're here. Do that. We, we are really stacked up on damage, actually. When the hell did this happen? Get out of here. All right, what's next? What's what's the real final boss? The thump, the thump, comforting heartbeat is felt throughout the room. Are you at the end? Is your purpose fulfilled? Feel something evil at your very core. You ask yourself, have you done enough? The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness has begun to fade. Suddenly, a burst of energy emanates from you, jolting you awake. The heart retreats, sensing an approaching threat. The fight is not over yet. Bang, bang, bang. Is it... The final act of the ending. Wait, what? Yeah, it's it is who I thought it was. Arise! Oh Lord, it's all of them. But they don't have like their super stuff going on. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Uh, Who do I care most about, then? I, I don't know. When it dies, all characters get vigor. In th uh, when all characters, incre including you, get gain two buffer. I don't know what buffer is. Including you gain three strength. I don't know what... I don't know what vigor is. I don't know what any of that is. Unfortunately. the timing on that. Painful. Incoming. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, you've got... You're doing an effect back there, too. You son of an... Aged. Unplayable. Theorable. Oh, my God. And we can't do our pen nib action anymore. We're gonna die. I actually think we're gonna die. I know this gets played after, but, like, I feel like I need to play it earlier than later. So we one more skill. We can float to proc and then it move. Add slime into your hand. Exhaust. Uh, where are we? We're here. Double attack. I would like to anywho. Wait, did you heal this son of a gun? Okay. Move for that. Fast forward, ignite, sh move on. Icky. It's free. Sure. This didn't go too this did not go too well. Not go too well. Bewildered. When you play another card. Wait, oh, is this. No. That was just whatever. And nip? No. God, I can't remember. Can't keep track of all these son of guns. Oh, we're going to take 26, but this is the turn where we actually have a good amount of stuff. Uh, we're right here. We need to play a power. I don't have a power. I could advance. Advance. Forked flame. We gain one energy back, maybe. Yep. Do the super duper, which is quite nice in this fight. Uh... And then embers? Embers who? Probably should have done you since it's about to proc this turn. But this means that the Watcher is going to die very, very soon. Like, next turn, maybe. Mmm, the armor. That armor. That armor. Are you healing them? Is that what you're doing? I. It seems like that might be the case. Blood at the end of the turn. I gotta get rid of that. Oh my, I forgot that's an attack. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Extra crispy, maybe. I feel like I want to get my draw first. I think we already have here and now, but two stacks of here and now seems very nice. Like, why would we not, right? I'm not going to get through this.
Okay. Oh! Oh, the way that it actually procced there. Wait, interesting. Okay. We might be able to get this, but it's not gonna be it. Like, this is not the whole thing. Oh, this hand sucks, actually. Poopy hand. Really bad draw. Really bad draw. Yeah, it's a heal. Okay, where are we? Uh, an attack. We can do attack, we can do it again. Okay, we actually sort of have a free, free reign thing here. Again, and then we hexaguard to draw, see what we're working with next. Okay, we can go for this once more. Is it logical to go for them like this? Probably not. Uh, uh, I, I stop splitting the damage, you ding dong. It doesn't make sense with his heal. Oh, he did it to me this time. <gasps> All right. Yikes. Where are we? We're there. Okay, so let's... Oh, Lord. I can't attack you, can I? No. Fork flame first before we float. Um, sure. Advancing guard, which reprocs that, which that was not the way to do it. This was not the way to do this. Unlimited power. Please give me a power. It is technically a power. We got a lot of block in there. Not enough. But we did get a lot. That's a nope. That's a nope. We can live this turn, but we can't live a second one. All right. One more energy. Okay. Cool. I need to know what else we got. Charge Barrage. I mean, we're doing cool things, but like, and we're getting a lot of armor, more armor than I would have thought. Yeah, I keep, I need to, I need to swap this around more. Or stop, or stop swapping it around. Wait, how much, that's blocked. How much do you, wait, do you have 21? Well, this guy's got 58. Should die next turn. Okay. Alright. We might get we might get through this. Maybe. You are going to die. Okay. You are going to die. This is for sure. For sure, for sure. Where am I? I'm here. I can advance. I don't have a power. I now have unlimited power. I have now unlimited amounts of power. I think we do it. We do it in order. Stacks up a whole bunch here. We might be able to Phantom Fireball and kill. Or at least we should be able to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please hit the defect once just to make my life cleaner. Thank you. You want to explain why that happened that way? You want to explain why that happened that way? Want to explain why that happened that way? That way he completely dodged that uh, that fire explosion there, huh? You want to explain why? Why did that happen, huh? Okay, I mean, I think we're still fine, but yeah, that's much more annoying. We're not dead. But we also ha also have not won now as a result of that. Uh, uh, 40! Why are you doing this to me? Why did you do this to me? 
You better actually die this time. You better actually die this time. I swear to God. Okay. Whenever you would receive five or less unblocked damage, what, what are we done here? Retract, gain an energy, and go draw a card. I say yes. Shop. Can I buy, like, uh, an extra life here? Whenever you ignite a ghost flame. I do like this power so much. Don't play any tax, gain additional energy, start, no. Deal nine damage twice, increase the next, this card's damage by two, next turn add deck of shield. Not the time to learn that really right now. To intensity. Increases the amount of damage soul burn and block applied by, okay, gotcha. I don't know, man. A block advance was t is tempting to go for, but S let's just heal and smile, baby. Heal and smile. I will take another one of those because we don't have to actually play them. All right, invincible. Uh, what the hell? He's going to negative reflect, uh, negative negatively. It, it, it pa impact me, what the hell? Okay, sure. God of life, heals two HP whenever you play a card. Cool. Adds a random status card to your discard pile every turn. Great. Two artifact at the end of a turn, has no artifact. Cool. Uh, <laughs> whenever you play a card, gains a mantra, loses five at the start of the turn. In three turns, yeah, yeah. Invincible. O can only lose 300 more HP this turn. Uh, probably wasn't going to do more. Okay, so the setup situation here kind of makes sense. Alright. Advancing guard, maybe? Yeah, that works. And then technically this is an attack, even though it is zero. The mantra going up here. All right. Okay, I was gonna say, are there like attacks coming out too, or is this just like a weirdo backwards fight where we will just kind of live or die based off of garbage piles or something? Man, that heal on whenever you do freaking anything. I think it's okay. I think we just need to do our setup. I think we just need to do our set. Wait, what? There's okay. There's something else happening here that I don't that I didn't see. You're doing a lot more damage now. Uh, where where in this giant pile of text? Oh, I put you in to I shoot. I. Uh oh. I gave her 10 strength. Gotcha. No, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. And I don't think we were go ever going to not be dead to this, if I'm going to be honest. We'll do all I'm going to do my best, obviously. I'm going to try here. What are we at? Okay, sweet. Skill. Do we have the, like, whenever you ignite the, for the first time, advance. I like that. We'll advance here. We can f float, advance here and now. Okay. Don't hex a guard yet. Extra crispy. Sure. Trying to hit. I'm trying to hit evil within. They're already in super duper mode. Oh, there, but they, oh, it resets. Oh my God, it literally resets. You were so annoying. Okay. All right, well, we get to block all that, cool. There's Slime Crush, which is just fun.
Uh, I'd like the footwork sh slime crush down to zero just because it's cool looking. I'm not going to take damage this turn, but it's also not going to matter. Like, every card healing for two is just so, so annoying. Oh, God, I can't. I can't do this now. Yeah, no, no, no. This will give me a little bit of armor. It's... This was never going to happen. We definitely need to go for both of those. Even so, it's not going to matter. Yeah, I don't know. If we didn't... Here's my thing. If we didn't pop the strength, would it have done anything? Like, would we have died? I think we would have died anyways. I really do. New character. Cool. I think we would have died anyways, genuinely. I wish we could obviously see what would happen if we find out. But that fight is a... It, it's very obviously a cluster of wild effects going on all at the same time. I don't... I don't, you know, think that I made a wild, un-understandable mistake for the first time on that fight when there was literally eight text boxes that were all a paragraph long. I, I think it makes sense to trip up and mix up one thing there. Uh, but, yeah, it, it was a, it's a fight that maybe it's different every time because it seems like they maybe channel different heroes every time, but the one we got was very, very counter to what we had, which was... A, apply status effects, which was countered so hard by the defect. One, the two, two artifacts every turn completely destroyed our burn that we were applying on them. And then, of course, the uh, 10 mantra stacks destroying what we um, buh, 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 had with the pen nib playing a million cards in a row. Anyway, two hours. This game is too long. I know that this is just a slay the spire problem, but oh my god. We'll be back at it again probably tomorrow, though. Uh, the amount of support that's going to need to be on these series is going to be like ha it's going to have to be a lot higher than other other series on the channel. Let me tell you, two hours is a, a, literally double the time commitment of anything else I put up. So this needs to be doing incredibly well for me to be able to still fit it in my schedule. It's such a good expansion mod. I love it so much. But holy moly, these runs are long. So. If you want more, you really gotta let me know. If you'd be sad to see it go, comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!